Hello everyone, this is financial author Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. On this channel, you'll find financial, travel and more videos just like the one you're watching right now. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll have another unboxing and brief review video. And today I'll be unboxing Asus Zenbook Flip S computer. So this is the whole package uh, you're looking at. And uh, I'll just start opening the package. Okay, so I opened one side of the box. And okay, so there's another box uh, inside this box, which I was expecting and you can see it right here and I'll just uh, take out this fill up air bag and just put them there and I'll take out uh, the laptop from the outer box which is going to be right here and I'll just put this here okay so this is the box, uh, it says in search of incredible and Asus and this is all black box and let's take a look at this side. So here there's not much, just some information about lithium ion batteries. So I believe this is going to be the front side of the box. So I'll just uh, cut from here and then we'll open up from here. I have a feeling there's another box inside this box that's just too many boxes okay yes so I'm gonna have to just take out uh, the inside box of this box so if we do that then we have this box right here and let me just take a look here so there's another box which is right here as you can see and then I'm gonna to have to cut this box. I have a feeling that th that's gonna be it. Inside this we have our uh, laptop. So I'll just pull up the cover. And so this is like a briefcase, that box. And yes, here we go. Here we have the Asus 13.3 inch laptop and I can take it out and I'll just set it aside here and then I'll just take a look at uh, what else inside this box so if I open up this tray then you'll see that there's the power there's a charger so it's a very uh, handy and portable my last laptop I had was bulky and big so this is very light and then we have nothing here let's remove this one okay so they attached a laptop case or laptop sleeve and which is uh, very good uh, it's an uh, I was not expecting this because usually you don't get this with a laptop and I have to purchase this one additionally so that's a good thing Okay, so actually this looks like a quality too. It's some sort of uh, plastic fabric material and it looks very nice and you can uh, feel the quality in it. I'll set it aside here. Then we have a pen here. It's probably a stylus pen or it's a pen to draw on the surface of the laptop. So I'll just put it here and let me just take a look what we have here okay so it's uh, the manual right here and there is a uh, fabric to clean the monitor and the laptop so I'll just put it here and there should be something else in here let's take a look okay so we have something in here and 
I'll open this. Okay, so this looks like some sort of a dongle. It has a micro USB and other connection slot. And it has another USB cable here. So this probably you can charge from here by connecting this to the laptop. So I'll just set it aside here. And let's see if we have something else in here. And actually it looks like that's all we have here. There's nothing else. So the whole box is empty. And I'll just put this here and let's take a look at the laptop. So the packaging is actually very impressive. Uh, the last laptop I had, the packaging was simple, not very fancy like this one. Okay, so here you're looking at the whole laptop. It has a plastic cover and I'm going to take it out. Okay, so here, here we go. And let's take a look here. Okay, so I removed it and here's the whole laptop. It's very thin. Uh, you can see it here. It's very thin, very lightweight and it's metal. I can feel the coolness. Uh, it's cool to touch. So it's metal and all this 13.3 inch but it feels even smaller because of the lightweight. So I'll just open it here and see what happens. Okay, so Okay, so I found a protective uh, piece right here. So this is probably just to protect the screen from scratch or shipping uh, uh, shake or something. So I'll just put it here. So you're looking at the laptop and this is not turned on. So that's how it looks like. Okay. So what I'll do, the next thing, I'll just uh, go through some of the slots we have on here. So looks like we have a micro USB and there are two buttons right here. Not sure what are those for. And on this side, you can see there's the mic and it could be the power. Okay. so. I'll just uh, turn this on, charge the battery, and then I'll attach it to the unboxing video, and I'll give you uh, my first impression of this laptop. So just give me a few minutes. Hello everyone. So I took some time to learn my new Asus ZenBook Flip uh, laptop, and I'd like to just go over some more uh, details of the laptop. So the first thing I'd like to show you is the dongle. Uh, what I found out that uh, because this uh, laptop has only micro USB port so you can use actually the dongle to connect it to a USB device which has USB port uh, right here and you can also use other USB uh, port to connect it uh, to this laptop via the dongle so that's one use of this and there are other uses for example you can charge via these slots and there are probably there are probably other uses. So this is a very handy uh, stuff to have. So I'll just put it aside. Now, in terms of the laptop, this is a very lightweight and slim laptop. Uh, as per ASUS, this is world's slimmest and thinnest uh, portable convertible laptop, uh, which I'll show you on the website. However, let me just go over some of the things here. Okay, so one thing right here which is just here uh, this one here is the fingerprint uh, sensor so you can just open the uh, laptop by touching your fingerprint here but the problem with that I found out that you know it's uh, because of the space is very slim so you have to just like you know keep uh, pressing your finger a few times it doesn't pick up at the first time and then here this uh, slot uh, is the power uh, port so you just plug in the uh, power uh, cord into here 
and then here uh, there's the volume uh, uh, this is the volume button and this is the power button right here so usually laptops have a power button inside here on the keyboard right here but for this one the power button is right here okay and on this side there's uh, the micro USB slot which is right here and then here is the you know, audio output which is a standard 3.5 ml output okay so now let's uh, open the laptop uh, and then I'll show you the fingerprint uh, thing okay so once I open it up it turns on automatically this is a very fast laptop uh, 7 generation i7 processor which is right here and it has 16 gigabyte of RAM but let's say uh, if I try my finger here then you'll see that it's gonna take a few attempts it doesn't pick up right away so for example uh, let's see let's see okay actually somehow this time it did it only two times but before I was trying it and it kept like you know asking me to do it again and again so now uh, I'll just show you that uh, some of the f features from uh, Asus's uh, website. So for example, this is 10.9 millimeter ultra thin and 1.1 kg weight, which is very light. And this can convert to a tablet, which I'm going to show you uh, very soon. And then let me just take a look here if there's anything else. So there are lots of specs and stuff on the website, which I don't need to go through uh, again or if you need to check them out you can just go to asus website and then another thing i'd like to show you let's say if you want to convert this to a, a tablet so what do you do you just flip it this way and put it all the way like this and then you get this message here that uh, do you want to switch it to tablet mode okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to press yes so right now i'm in the tablet mode and then uh, this is not bad but the problem with this that on the back side of the tablet mode you are actually touching the keyboard although it's not gonna work but you know it feels very weird in hand to have the keyboard like you know to hold the uh, laptop on the keyboard the other laptop I had before uh, when it converts to tablet on the back side is the solid not keyboard 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 like you know was inside uh, hidden but here the keyboard is on the other side so it feels weird to uh, hold a tablet this way and you know you're kind of uh, the tablet is laptop is uh, on your hand on keyboard so it, it does I think this is not a good idea it doesn't feel good in hand okay so here I'll show you how to use the pen which is right here to sketch or take notes so there's a small icon which is right here and actually if you can see it looks like I don't have to even touch the pen even before touching it I can see a small tiny dot following the pen uh, yeah, if you can see it so let's see if we put it here and then touch this one then you'll see that this section will appear and then here's uh, sticky notes sketch pad uh, touch screen and all other apps so let's say if I want the sketch pad which is right here and so here's the sketch pad you're gonna start with a blank space uh, so in order to do that just hit the uh, delete button right here and okay so we have a blank screen right now and then with this pen so if you just uh, write something so hello uh, okay how are you okay so you can do anything you want and then if you want to change your settings which are everything is right here so this is a very good feature to have so I'll just delete everything and then I'll remove the whole thing and then if you want sticky notes then actually you can do that as well so you can just create notes and write with this pen so which is also a good feature
Another thing on the screen is that if you look on this side, on the left and right side, the bezel is very slim. They stretch the screen to reach almost the edge of the uh, monitor. So the, 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 thing, the thinness is very you know, slim here, the bezel. However, they didn't do the same thing on the bottom and on the top. It's still there's like a you know, one inch bezel on these two. So I'm not sure why if they're doing it on one side, but they didn't on the other side. It should have been on the both side. And another bad thing about this uh, laptop is that the my webcam is a VGA webcam. So these days you will not see any uh, laptop or anything with VGA webcam because it's a very low quality picture. You will not be able to use it. So this is a premium laptop with so many features and stuff. But I don't know what's, what's going on on Asus's mind or what they were thinking. And they made this a VGA webcam which is not going to be used by anyone. So this is a, a feature that is totally uh, not acceptable. So there must be something wrong with Asus when they're thinking to put uh, a video webcam on this premium laptop. Except that everything else is very good, uh, very fast. Uh, you can open multiple apps or as many apps as you want and you're not gonna uh, feel any slowness or anything because of the RAM, which is 16 gig. And also it has a backlit keyboard which you cannot see it right now because it's daytime, but at night it looks very good. So with that, this is definitely a good laptop for uh, video editing and other stuff. Uh, that's what my purpose was to purchase this because uh, of my video editing. And then this is also a portable laptop, very uh, good for travel and it will be very handy uh, and very lightweight to carry because it's because of its uh, size and portability so that's that concludes my asus uh, review and unboxing if you like what you see please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing and there will be more videos coming up so i'll see you shortly thank you